Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Saturday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great lesson today. The people speak up for Jeremiah. The people speak up for Jeremiah. And our lesson is uh, coming from Jeremiah 26, verse 16 to 24. Amen. And it's uh, speaking of Jeremiah being spared from death. Amen. Great and wonderful lesson as we look into this lesson. But we, uh, for those of you uh, given a quick background, uh, Sunday's lesson going to go into it even further, uh, a beginning of it. But uh, as we look on this lesson, uh, we are speaking about Jeremiah, a young man that was uh, 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 picked out and, and chosen by God to be a prophet. Uh, to the people and to tell them what thus says the Lord, as they say. And as he uh, began his uh, ministry, he was a, a young minister uh, that uh, he had to uh, uh, ex learn to get over the idea of his age and then bring forth a powerful powerful lesson and had to, you know, give it as, uh, uh, and the importance of it had to show through him. And so he had a mighty strong and heavy job that he had to complete that God had assigned for him before his birth. Amen. So this is a great lesson. And like I said, we'll uh, finish this lesson up on uh, Sunday, uh, but we're going to get started here. Jeremiah, uh, the people speak up for Jeremiah, uh, sparing his life. Amen. Uh, we're going to get ready to move into our lesson. But first, I want to ask if anything is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit. Or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below. And I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. This is a powerful word uh, that we're speaking into. But we're going to get ready and move into our lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Amen. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into no temptation. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you have done, is doing, and shall do in each of our life. We give you the glory, the honor, and praise, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for watching over us, taking care of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that you touch, watch over, guide, protect all of those that are under the sound of my voice, all those that is a part of our ministry, those that is not to touch and protect and guide and strengthen all those that hear this message, Father, strengthen them. Lord, I pray that uh, someone come in their path that will help them, uh, build them up in, in their walk with Christ and will strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it will bring them closer and closer to you, Father. We thank you, Father, for all that you do in our life. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Father. We thank you that, 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 we, uh, that we can do all things through you who strengthen us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we come to you today, we thank you, Father, that you open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and you give us wisdom knowledge and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. All right. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, the people speak up for Jeremiah and Jeremiah uh, is spared from death. Verse uh, uh, coming from Jeremiah, the uh, uh, 26th chapter, the 16th verse through the 24th. And the 16th verse says, So the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve to die, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. Then certain of the elders of the land rose up and spoke to all the assembly of the people, saying, uh, Macca of Macedonia, Morsheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, 
king of Judea, and spoke to all the people of Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Zion shall be plowed like a field, Jerusalem shall become heaps of ruins, and the mountain of the temple like the bare hills of the forest. Did Hezekiah king of Judea and all Judea ever put him to death? Did he not fear the Lord and seek the Lord favor and the Lord relented concerning the doom which the head pronounced against them. But we are doing great evil against ourselves. As we look at this here, <clears throat> this uh, uh, one that stood up for Jeremiah to speak, he, he, he reminds them of a prophet that spoke and also brought doom. Uh, uh, remind them that you, you're not going to always get great news. Uh, 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 everything is blessed and wonderful uh, from the prophet. That is not his job. His job is to, to say, thus says the Lord. Whatever the Lord says. And uh, we, I mean, we really should be just, you know, be mindful when we get all these great uh, prophecies of, of how great things are because we know uh, many times our lifestyle is not conducive to God patting us on the back and saying, oh, everything is wonderful and great and, and, and just all, somebody might be uh, filling your ears just to make you happy. If if you know you're not things is not you, you're not doing uh, as you should, and yet and still the folks is uh, prophesying and telling you all these wonderful and great things, uh, some that is not lining up to reality. Amen. Even just reality, not even uh, the spirit to speaking with you, but just reality of the matter. Amen. Fearlessly, Jeremiah repeats. His message. Then the uh, prince and all the people defend him, and the elders remind the crowd that Mecca had prophesied boldly in the days of a good king and had not been put to death. In verse 20, now there was also a man who prophesied in the name of the Lord, which was Uriah, the son of, now that is you. You hire you hire the J is H in 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 Greek uh, uh, I believe you hire the son of Shemaiah of Kirjath Jerob who prophesied against this city and against this land according to all the words of Jeremiah and when Je Jehoiakim the king, with all his mighty men and all the princes, heard his words. The king sought to put him to death. But when Uhiah heard it, he was afraid and fled and went to Egypt. This was his downfall, uh, not going to God for protection, but uh, attempting to protect himself. And said, verse 22, then Je Jehoiakim, the king, sent men to Egypt. Elephan the son of Achor of Abor and other men to who went with him to Egypt and said so, and they brought Uriah from Egypt and brought him to Jehoiakim the king who killed him with the sword and cast his body into the graves of the common people. Verse twenty four. Nevertheless, the hand of a a a Achim the son of Sa Sehaphim was with Jer Jeremiah so that they should not give him into the hand of the people to put him to death. He was protected because he was not running. He wasn't saying that he wasn't afraid, but he was not running. He was standing for what he had said. And he said, this is what the Lord thus says the Lord. Amen. As we see, these verses may be an argument presented by the opposition, or they may simply be the record of the fact that Jehoiakim ordered the execution of a prophet named Uhiah who prophesied the same things at Jeremiah. However, Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, prevails to deliver Jeremiah from death. Amen. As we see, verse 20, uh, uh, we see that when secure sinners are threatened with taking away the spirit of God and the kingdom of God, it is what is warranted from the word of God. 
Hezekiah, who protected Mecca, prospered. Did Jehoiakim, who slew Uhiah, prosper? The example of bad men and the bad consequences of their sins should deter uh, from what is evil. Uhiah was faithful in delivering his message, but faulty in leaving his work. And the Lord was pleased to permit him to lose his life. While Jeremiah was protected in danger, those are safest who most simply trust in the Lord. Whatever their outward circumstances may be, and that he has all men's heart in his hand, encourages us to trust him in the way of duty. He will honor and recompense those who show kindness to such as are persecuted for his sake. Amen. They they were those that uh, spoke up for Jeremiah. They 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 were showed kindness from God. Also, uh, 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 one thing uh, Jeremiah had gotten stated word that uh, God would protect him in the midst of what whatever the people were doing. He had got p specific word of this. It doesn't say that with Ukiah, but the uh, the thing is, Ukiah left. It doesn't say he, he prayed before he left to, to get direction from the Lord or anything. He just left because they had said they were after him instead of going to the Lord, the one that had him to deliver the message. Amen. So, and Jeremiah, he did not go. And as we will see in this Sunday's lesson, and as it uh, opens on out, the outcome of uh, uh, Jeremiah delivering his message, how it uh, turns out. So this is a powerful lesson uh, that, uh, you know, no matter what our age or what our status, when the Lord sends us, we should go. Uh, we should do as he would have us to do. Amen. Uh, many times... Uh, we don't fall in the category as Jeremiah and the major prophets did, but whatever we fall under, let us do it to the best of our ability. Amen. Because each of us has an assignment on our life. Amen. I pray you meditate on this lesson. Have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you.